Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about symmetric and asymmetric distributions of data. So, in our previous classes, we clearly discussed about how to calculate the mean and what's the uses of mean. Please watch those classes and come back here. These graphical intuition about symmetric and asymmetric distribution will help you a lot in understanding our next classes when we discuss the median and all those things. So, coming to today's class, let's understand what's a symmetric and asymmetric distributions are. Take a distribution like this. If our if you collected some data and if you plot it on the x and y axis and the x coordinate system coordinate system if our data looks like this this we call it a symmetric distribution so what's what's there in this distribution let's try to understand so one of the example of symmetric distributions is the heights of students if you collect the heights of the students and if you plot it on the on the y-axis we are taking frequency frequency means how many students are having a height of 5.4 how many students are having height of 5.5 5.4 10 students are there 5.5 10 20 students are there like that on the y-axis we are taking a frequency on the x-axis we are taking the heights of the students so this is how we plotted the data uh, most of the data is around here means 5.8 and 5.9 most of the students are 50 students are having heights of 5.5, 5.7 5 and 5.8. So this is how data is distributed. If you calculate, if this, this is symmetric distributed data, why we call it a symmetric distributed data? If you calculate the mean for this data, we'll get the central value like this here. And on the left hand side, on the right hand side, the distribution looks similar. It's almost all same. That's why this we call it as a symmetric distribution. Put the left part and the right part are almost are in the similar shape. So that's why we call it as a symmetric distribution. Coming to the next example, if our data is in symmetric distribution, the best way to calculate the central tendency is a mean value. We can use the mean value to get the central tendency. So if our data is asymmetrically distributed, asymmetrically distributed, there are two types. We call it as asymmetric distributions as skewed distributions. There are of two types, right skewed and left skewed. Let's try to understand with an example. If you try to plot the distributions of yearly income of the population, if you take the entire population of India and if you calculate the yearly income, 0 to 5000 uh, how many pop, how many of them are getting the salary of 0 to 5000 uh, annually how many are getting the salary of 5 to 10000 uh, annually frequency shows that how many of them are getting that salary that is what uh, so most of them most of the population will be having 20 10 to 35000 will have the most of the population will get the salary of 35000 as the income increases very less people will get that uh, increased income so as the income increases only few people will get that uh, income so you see here the distributed the data is distributed on the most on the right hand side right hand side it's completely skewed to the right hand side that's why it is called it as a right skewed distribution for this type of distributions if you use the mean value to calculate the central tendency it is not a good way to apply mean value to calculate the central tendency why because uh, as the values are increasing most of the the mean value is pulled towards the pull towards the maximum maximum value because uh, this is what we discussed in our uh, previous classes if the, the mean value always is pulled towards the maximum value so that's why that's why in this type of situations we are not supposed to if you apply the mean value you will get somewhere around here but most of them are on at this point central tendency means uh, you have to divide uh, so so most of them are going on the left hand side only few people are coming to the right hand side that's why mean value is not applicable here in this type of situations uh, median is the best practice to calculate the central tendency how to calculate the median value we will discuss in our next classes uh, similarly we are having a left skewed also uh, the examples that belongs to the left skewed are if you take the frequency on the y-axis on the x-axis we are taking the death in years 
so how many people are there dying in 0 to 1 year how many people are dying at 5 to 10 years 10, 15 to 20 years as you move to the towards 55 to 95 years most of the people are going to uh, are having death at this age so this is left skewed left skewed data is left skewed so these are different types of symmetric and asymmetric distributions so based on that we have to apply the measure of central tendency hope you understand the concept of symmetric and asymmetric distributions if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you